Cash Taggers, it's the Cash Tagger here, and today I am doing the um I can't, oh Would You Rather book tag edition. Uh, this was created by Ray K Books, and I also wanted to start a new thing with you. So today is December twelfth, two thousand sixteen. So this is when I'm filming it, so I can look back on this, and also every at the beginning. Of every video I plan to do, I'm going to put a question in there. And the question will always be, what was the last book you read or are you still on a certain book? So, the last book I read was... The last book I read was Rump by Lisa Shirtliff. Amazing book. The ending... Spoiler! If you want to, um... Like, I don't know. If you don't want to hear the spoiler, then don't listen. But if you do, I guess, then you can. The ending was not how I expected it. It was literally so sad. Like, oh my gosh. Why wouldn't he move in with the ants? Why didn't he go back? Oh my gosh. I want so much more from this book. And come on, Laser Sherlock. You could have done a better job. Um, so I guess I rated this book um, for like 3.5 stars. Because the ending wasn't what I was expecting. It really did definitely change my view of the book, and that's why I would say that. So, on with the book tag. Okay, so the first question is, read only trilogies or standalones? And my answer would be to read only standalones. Um, so, I really want to start the duology of Serfina and the Black Cloak, but I don't have the second book, that's why I asked for it for Christmas. But, honestly, like, it's a duology, so it's not a trilo tril trilogy. Sorry, I can't pronounce that word. And so it would definitely be harder for me because I like reading standalones or du duologies because then it's one or two books. It's not a whole series or just three books. And so I would go with standalones. So that's my answer. On to number two. So number two is read only female or male authors i always look at the authors because of the videos i do for you guys but i don't normally like i'm kind of going off of what jesse the reader said i don't normally look at the authors unless like i'm doing a video for you guys like a haul like hey guys i got serena in the black oak by robert Beatty or like han nolan or something like that but i don't normally look at the authors so i couldn't really make a preference on number three so number three is shop at Barnes & Noble or Amazon. I would shop at Amazon or Barnes & Noble. I would shop at Amazon, though, because it's like you order something, and then you get the excitement of it getting at your door, and it's cheap. So, like, you get the excitement of it coming to your door and opening the package and all that, that it's just, like, so much fun waiting for it. It's like Christmas morning. And so I definitely would choose Amazon. On to number four. All uh, books, um, would you rather have all books become movies or TV shows? I think it should be TV shows, and I've said this to a lot of people before. If it's a TV show, then it's, like, each chapter of the book. So, like, say this book has, let's see, say this book has ten chapters. Then the TV series would have ten episodes, one episode per chapter. I think that would be a perfect idea. Because, honestly, people that don't like reading would enjoy going through each chapter. Just kind of going through, like, Netflix. So, on to number five. Number five is read five pages per day or five books per week. Right now, I'm in this major reading slump. So, I would probably go with, like, five pages per day. But I bet in the future, like, if I'm going to do this video in the future... So, I bet in the future I'll do five books per week, but right now I'm sticking with five pages per day. On to number six. Be a professional author or a reviewer? I would be a professional reviewer because then I would get some books by, like, publishers and stuff. And I think that would be really cool. And I don't like writing that much, so that is definitely a thing for me, is that I would like to be a reviewer because then I can take my time read the book and show you guys what I've read and review it for you guys 
So another uh, number seven is read only your top 20 fave books or always read new books. Like, always read new ones except your favorite. Wait, hold on. Sorry, guys. Let me read this question again. Read only your top 20 fave books over and over or always read new ones. Always read new ones because, honestly, if you're going to always read new books, you're exploring a different adventure all the time. Instead of reading a book over and over and over and over again, you're reading a new adventure all the time. So I would definitely go with um, reading new books all the time. Um, next one is um, number eight, be a librarian or bookseller. Either or would be fine with me. Like, honestly, this is what I planned. Okay, so if you guys are new to my channel or just watching or whatever, then please subscribe and also leave down in the comments if you would want me to be a bookseller or a librarian because I, I can't make up my mind because I would rather like either one you can recommend books to people all the time like ask like telling them oh I read this book it was really good I hope you enjoy it or something like that and that's why I don't really know which one I would go with number nine is only read your favorite genre or different ones except your favorite um I would read new genres because I don't really have a genre pick. Like, more of the pe people that have been on BookTube a while know, like, their genres and all this stuff. I don't pay attention to the genres. I just read the book. And so, I can't really choose that because I don't know my favorite genre. And I don't know if middle grade fiction is a genre. I don't know. So, let's move on to number 10. Ebooks or physical books. And this is... This is my answer. I would pick physical books. I cannot stand ebooks. I like the feelness of the book. I like feeling it in my grip. I like flipping through the pages, smelling the book. It just, I don't like ebooks. I don't like reading them online. I don't like doing that because you're paying for something that is technically. Like, it is yours on your phone, but if your phone got stolen or something, that book's gone. That book's gone, people. So, that's why I would recommend physical copies of books. And that's the end of the video, guys. So, I have my little poop emoji thing. So, if you guys ever see this in my videos, it literally has all my scheduled things. I don't script out my videos. It's only main topics that I want to talk about. And it's like... My list, so, like, my list of things that I need to go over or different stuff. So, like, when I did the social media tag, I don't know if I uploaded that one yet. Um, when I did that one, um, I just, like, wrote down all the questions. So I had them in mind. I also did it for this one. See? And I'm not going to write all the questions in the comments. If you guys can read this, then that's pretty much it. Um, and I do, like, so if you guys ever see these this notebook in my in my videos um that is why because i plan out all my videos or i down the questions and i really take my time to i use my phone and, and like lamps as lighting i don't have a good lighting i don't have a good camera i use my phone because that's all i can really afford for now and i i know my videos may be bad quality but that's really all i can afford for this youtube channel and another thing too is it's just like I take t like I just want you guys to know I do take time to plan out my videos to look over vid new videos go online research these topics or even come up with my own original book tag and also like it takes time to for me to do these videos it's not just where I pause okay talk pause okay talk so if you ever see my hand hitting the pause button that's because I don't have a camera where I or editing editing software where I can edit it because I just don't have that stuff right now guys so if you guys can really appreciate that i would definitely enjoy if you guys can because i know my videos may be bad quality but i just want you guys to know and i hope you guys enjoyed this video book hashtag out Mwah.